Oi lads, it's Danny here today, bringing you lot a lovely video on why the derivative of arc secant of x, why is that equal to 1 divided by absolute value of x multiplied by square root of x squared minus 1. So before we jump into this proving, this proof, please drop a like and subscribe and let's get right into it. So we are taking the derivative of an inverse trig function. Right away, we know that we're not going to be using limit definition. Instead, we're going to be applying implicit differentiation so when you're dealing with arc secant of x there's an additional step that you are going to have to apply but besides that it's the same series of steps so let's get right into it so the y is base we're going to have to let y equal to arc secant of x once you do that same as per usual right you can apply secant on both sides of this equation so the, the goal is to isolate for the x term right here and once you do that you have secant y is equal to x we are then going to apply derivative to both sides of this equation, like you see on your screen. The right hand side is going to be equal to 1. And the left hand side, we've got a function within a function. Therefore, we're going to have to apply a chain rule. And this here is the derivative of the left hand side. We are then going to rearrange this equation, have dy and dx isolated. And we can rewrite it as follows on the screen. We are then, at this point, we have a tan y, which we are going to use a trig identity. And we're going to basically replace it with this term right over here. So we're going to have square root of secant squared of y minus 1. We're going to replace that where you see the tan y basically. And we can rewrite the expression as follows on your screen. The last step is basically to replace x with e equal to secant y. And this basically comes from here basically. And this is the, this is the reason why arc secant of x is equal to what it's equal to. But we're not done yet. Where well, there's an additional step. So if we look at the original, what we're trying to prove, we got an absolute value over here, and we don't have it over here. So why why is there an absolute value? So when you open a lot of textbooks, they already have this derivative already solved for you lot. But why is there an absolute value? So let me explain to you why that is. So if this here is the the curve of arc secant of x, as you can see. Now if you take a derivative. Or you take the slope at any point on this curve, which you are going to notice, it's just going to have a positive, a positive slope, therefore a positive derivative. And this is the same on the right hand side too. This is the same curve basically. And as a result, the slope is always positive. Therefore, the derivative has to be always positive. The only way we can do that is if over here we got a, an absolute value of x. Because over here we have an x squared term, so no matter what, it's going to be positive over here. But over here, if there's a negative x, that can make sense. So we need to have the absolute value applied to this x term right over here, making the slope and the derivative always positive, which correlates to the graph on your screen. So that's the reason why when you take the derivative of arc secant of x, you will obtain an answer of 1 divided by absolute value of x multiplied by square root of x squared minus 1. So if this video has helped you a lot, please drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you a lot later.